Dear Epsilon user, welcome to the introduction to Epsilon Professional. In this first lesson, I would like to introduce you to the graphical user interface of Epsilon. As you can see, the screen is separated in three different areas. We have a modeling workspace, where we will put together our model. We have different toolbars and a menu bar, which you know from most of the office tools you use every day. In order to become familiar with the controls of Epsilon, I suggest we will start out to model our first basic Rankin cycle using a steam turbine, a steam generator, a condenser, a feed water and a cooling water pump. We can select the components either from the component toolbar, which orders the components by the function. So you see we have throttles and valves, mixers, splitters, turbines, pumps, or from the component wizard, which we will get to know later. So let's start out and select a pump with a left click. A cross indicates the position of the pump in our model. Let's put a feed water pump here with a left click and another cooling water pump by another left click. In order to stop the selection I can either press escape or the right button of my mouse. Now I would like to place a steam generator into my model. I will use the component wizard for this, which contains a list of all 125 components available in Epsilon version 10. I can either scroll through this list, or more comfortable, I can type in the name of the component I would like to use. So a steam generator is the component of choice. A left click selects it and another left click will place the steam generator into our model. The same thing I can do with a condenser. And in order to mix things up, I will select the steam turbine from my component toolbar again. Once again, left click to place the component, right click in order to end the selection. Now we have placed all the components needed for our Rankin cycle in our workspace. Let's adjust our view on the workspace by clicking on the 100% button. As you can see, the visible area was adjusted to our components. In the next step, I would like to connect the components to each other. And therefore, I would like to have a closer look on the feed water pump. I press the right button and drag the cursor in order to select a zoom area. The black pin is an outlet. The white pin is always an inlet. Let's get back to 100% view and try to connect the pump with my steam generator. I double click on the black dot and you see I start to drag the line. I aim to its final destination and if the final position is a pin, one left click is enough and we draw our line. Now I will connect the live steam outlet with the turbine's main inlet. Notice that in order to create a point on my line 
I have to press the left button and again I connect it with the steam turbines main inlet I double click on the main outlet of my steam turbine and connect it with my condenser the same thing with the condenser and the feed water pump the same with the condenser and the cooling water pump I also have to extend the inlet pipe of my cooling water pump because later I will have to specify uh, cooling water parameters here I do it again by double click on the inlet place the cross in the final position and now I finish with a double click because there is no pin I connect it with and the same thing with the cooling water outlet of my condenser so this is the final topology of our first basic Rankine cycle let's sum up what we have learned we have learned that we can drag our components from the component toolbar or from the component wizard we learned how to adjust the zoom level we learned about the 100% button we also learned how to connect components with each other by lines. In the next video we will parameterize the cycle properly and start a first simulation.